No arrest has been made so far on the hit and run case where a student of St. Joseph University student was killed. It has been nine days since the unfortunate incident took place. However, the absconding accused is yet to be arrested. On May 25, a student of St. Joseph University was killed in hit and run case. Earlier, various students' bodies and organization held candlelight vigil in honor of the victim and demanded justice at the earliest. To get update of the incident and the investigation in progress, Hombil TV spoke to DCP Crime Bharat Lakshman. The DCP informed that the police department is working day and out to catch the accused and the cyber crime team is also working to solve the case. Lakshman said the team will leave no stone unturned to catch the culprit. So, it took nine days away, uh, it took hit and run case. So, uh, it took a lot stage the police. Where is the police at this stage of investigation, sir? Um, see, presently, we have got some uh, footages with us, okay, uh, technical evidences with us, yes. though they are not very uh, conclusive, okay. and uh, just to uh, enhance its uh, value or to derive the maximum uh, uh, matlab, you know to get uh, um, more evidence out of it we have sent the, this to the forensic analysis and uh, apart from that we are taking help of cyber expert also so in this case of course there is no uh, major breakthrough as of now but i, I can assure you and uh, i think dimapur traffic police and uh, concerned police station they are working very hard we know one uh, our young innocent student uh, lost her life yes. and we, we are actually doing all that is possible uh, with the current technology that is available i think that is being done it will last stage investigation last stage they has uh, has the nagaland police kun give like suspect la namra kun give arrest kurisen na it to hit and run case la upar desa no not it so, uh, Hornwell TV ba apni lodo bi itu traffic khan laga uh, itu la upor de kotha kuri se how we can strengthen uh, traffic safety in Nagaland sir. Yes. So, to ena incidents khan stop krule so apni labi bhavna and Dimapur uh, traffic labi bhavna do kya sena sir. See, it's a big issue. Uh, we have been um, highlighting it in the press also and uh, officially also. Yes. So, I think I would not uh, be able to give uh, like a very detailed answer as of now, but right. uh, you know, right, uh, issues ranging from awareness to the enforcement to the use of CCTVs yes. uh, and speed guns and uh, drunken driving and uh, you know, proper lane driving. So, uh, the parking. So, there are multiple issues. So, I think it will, it will require a uh, uh, detailed discussion some other time, I believe. So, like, uh, to Normally, accidents can't hold it, though there are no compensations given by the government authorities, na, sir? Will we, just for this particular incident, uh, there was a young uh, college, a student that lost their life. So, so at least a, a little bit sympathy side, pra mukhan la Dimapur administration can be uko compensation di wole taya rasin, na, na, sir? Uh, you see, we are in a welfare state, the present uh, model of democracy in India. I'm sure government has its own mechanism to look into it. Yes. But as a representative of police department, I can say we, we are trying to uh, uh, solve the case. Right. And uh, our domain is to investigate the case. And of course, the, that government, as I said, it's a welfare state. So, um, but that, I think I cannot comment on that particular part. So, uh, ekta kotha do, uh normally accidents to major major accidents to mohalla national highway they hoi thake only we mohan only mohan itu incident that happened on if i'm not mistaken the 25th of may na sir it yes, caused mm. it caused a lot of disturbance to so many ama baba mohan la nijor college te pathala sir to safety kina maintain kro lage sir students la perspective sai le sir yeah, you see, we all are very disturbed uh, when one of our young youngster, uh, promising uh, youngster, loses uh, his or her life. I think that's uh, really disturbing for all of us. As I said, uh, traffic rules, awareness, enforcement, civic sense. Okay. You know, all the time, it's not that the uh, we should not follow rules just because somebody is forcing you. 
or just because somebody is watching you i think we need to inculcate the civic sense uh, traffic discipline we have been launching a awareness campaign for couple of years uh, we have last year also elaborate uh, awareness campaign was launched through and even media partners were also involved in this particular issue and every year uh, road safety awareness uh, programs are conducted all over the state all over the country uh, and of course we understand awareness is a continuous ongoing procedure uh, i think we will we'll keep on doing that uh, but as we you know as a responsible citizens we all have our own rights but of course we have our own duties also you know uh, if you don't some people uh, they think uh, they want to take risk but then if somebody is uh, risk taking but it can affect somebody else who is innocent who is following the rule who is following the law uh, so i think we really need to have civic sense we really need to think about others i think these are some of the measures and of course uh, uh, the interventions on the you know strategy and planning and other infrastructural uh, measures which are required i think that will come but right. to begin with i think civic sense is something we need to really focus on Nagaland though has been plagued with uh, quite bad road conditions for quite a period of time. Holway in the past few years we've seen development come at a very rapid uh, stage. So so do you think that kina kurina bhi bhal rasta bhi bisi danger provide kuriye se ki government authorities kan bhi sir especially traffic ko le. Ah uh... I think it's a very interesting question. Uh, I don't know whether it uh, I should take it positively or negatively. Uh, you know, it's like uh, it's like any weapon. You, you know, as the society will uh, progress or develop, we'll we'll get the new kind of developments and uh, uh, new tools in our hand. Uh, initially, it will be difficult for us, or we may uh, struggle to cope up with it. I think same with the new roads. we are uh, we are uh, we are not used to it for quite some time so i think we cannot look at it that way ki it's a problem uh, we understand it has increased our workload but as a government servant it's our duty to cope up with the evolving situation and it is on duty of the citizens also to uh, upgrade themselves upgrade about the uh, traffic rules and regulations and i think if we uh, as a society if we show will uh, to move ahead and towards the progress i think uh, it should not be a problem uh, in coming days i hope hopefully again as i said this is all for now keep watching on bill tv